in the vast and intricately woven chronicle of Earth's history, stretching back over billions of years, our planet has served as a nurturing cradle for an astonishing variety of life forms, many of which push the boundaries of human imagination and understanding. Among these enigmatic beings, two intriguing examples from the distant past are Opabinia and Hallucigena, fossilized remnants that have left scientists in awe, puzzlement, and, at times, laughter. Opabinia, a creature that graced the Earth some 505 million years ago, was discovered in 1972 from the Burgess Shale, a geological site in present-day Canada. Renowned for its preservation of ancient organisms, the Burgess Shale has borne witness to the peculiarities of life during the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid evolutionary development that saw an explosion of new and diverse life forms. Growing up in the vicinity of the Burgess Shale, I can attest to the thrill of unearthing ancient remnants of life, but Opabinia was unlike anything I had ever encountered. With its five eyes atop slender stalks, a long, flexible proboscis that ended in a claw, and a mouth located at the bottom of its body, Opabinia presented a sight that defied conventional wisdom and challenged our understanding of the animal kingdom. The five eyes, each pointing in a different direction, were a particular source of fascination. One could imagine Opabinia attempting to watch five different TV channels simultaneously, a testament to the complexity and diversity of life that existed millions of years ago. The long, flexible proboscis, or nose, was around four times longer than the creature's head, and it ended in a claw. This peculiar feature, which seemed to defy the logic of evolution, left scientists scratching their heads and wondering about the creature's lifestyle and feeding habits. The mouth, situated on the underside of Opabinia's body and facing backwards, further added to the overall confusion. Scientists proposed various theories to explain Opabinia's unusual anatomy. Some suggested that the long proboscis was used as a fishing pole to snare prey, while others argued that it was used for burrowing or sensing. The backward-facing mouth, they speculated, might have been used for swallowing prey whole. However, these theories remained just that, theories, as no definitive evidence has been found to support them. Opabinia was relatively small, measuring only two to three inches in length. Despite its diminutive size, the creature's unusual anatomy left scientists baffled. How did Opabinia feed? How did it navigate its environment? These questions were as elusive as the creature itself. Fast forward to 1911 and we encounter Hallucigena, a creature that would puzzle the minds of paleontologists for half a century. First discovered but not properly studied until 1977, this strange worm-like creature measured around two inches in length and bore sharp spines on one side and soft tentacle-like structures on the other. Simon Conway Morris, the scientist who first attempted to decipher Hallucigena's mysteries, made several missteps in his analysis. He hypothesized that Hallucigena walked on the spines and used the tentacles for feeding, a theory that persisted for 50 years in museums, textbooks, and reconstructions. However, in 1991, two scientists made a groundbreaking discovery. The tentacles had tiny claws on their ends, a feature more commonly associated with legs than feeding structures. This revelation flipped the entire understanding of Hallucigena upside down. The spines were not legs, they were armor on its back. The tentacles were actually its walking legs. The misconception about Hallucigena's anatomy was not limited to its legs. Scientists also struggled to determine which end was the head and which was the tail. This error persisted until 2014 when better fossils were found, revealing that the dark blob on one end, previously thought to be a poorly preserved head, was actually ancient feces. The real head was found on the opposite end, complete with two tiny eyes and a mouthful of needle-like teeth. The story of Opabinia and Hallucigena serves as a testament to the extraordinary and often bizarre creatures that have once inhabited our planet. These examples are but a drop in the ocean of strange and fascinating fossils waiting to be discovered and studied. As we continue to delve into the mysteries of our planet, we are reminded of the vastness of life's diversity and the endless possibilities that await us in the annals of Earth's history. In the journey to unravel the enigmas of our planet, the tales of Opabinia and Hallucigena offer fascinating insights into the complexities of life and the power of human curiosity. These stories serve as a reminder of the importance of continued exploration, investigation, and the pursuit of knowledge in understanding our world and our place within it. 
So stay tuned for more tales of Earth's enigmatic inhabitants. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories about dinosaurs, prehistory, and the mysteries of our planet. By doing so, you'll be joining a community of curious minds dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and the appreciation of the extraordinary diversity of life that has graced our planet. In addition to Opabinia and Hallucigena, there are numerous other examples of strange and fascinating fossils that have puzzled scientists for decades. One such example is Anomalocaris, a creature that lived around 500 million years ago and was one of the largest predators of its time. With its massive, circular eyes and numerous appendages, Anomalocaris looked more like an alien than an earthly creature. Its feeding appendages, which resembled paddles, were used to capture and devour prey. Another intriguing fossil is Acanthodi, a group of extinct fish that lived during the Devonian period, roughly 400 to 360 million years ago. Acanthodi were characterized by their char, p, spine-like dorsal and anal fins, as well as their elongated, slender bodies. They were some of the first fish to develop jaws and teeth, and they are considered the ancestors of modern sharks and rays. In the realm of marine invertebrates, the trilobite is a classic example of an enigmatic fossil. Trilobites were arthropods, a group that also includes crustaceans, insects, and spiders. They lived from around 540 million to 250 million years ago and are characterized by their three-lobed bodies and segmented legs. Trilobites were incredibly diverse, with over 17,000 known species, and they are found on every continent. The enigmatic nature of these fossils serves as a reminder of the vastness of life's diversity and the endless possibilities that await us in the annals of Earth's history. Each new discovery offers a glimpse into a world that was vastly different from our own, a world teeming with strange and wondrous creatures that defy our conventional understanding of life. The study of these fossils also offers insights into the evolution of life on Earth. By examining the anatomy, behavior, and ecology of these ancient organisms, scientists can piece together the evolutionary history of life on our planet and gain a better understanding of how life has adapted to changing environments over time. For example, the study of Opabinia and Hallucigena has shed light on the early evolution of eyes, feeding structures, and locomotion in animals. The discovery of Anomalocaris has provided insights into the evolution of large predators, while the study of Acanthodi has shed light on the early evolution of jaws and teeth in fish. In addition to their scientific significance, these fossils also hold cultural and historical value. They serve as reminders of our shared history and our place in the grand tapestry of life. They also serve as a source of inspiration for artists, writers, and filmmakers who have drawn on the enigmatic nature of these creatures to create works that capture the imagination and fascinate audiences. In conclusion, the study of fossils like Opabinia, Hallucigena, Anomalocaris, Acanthodi, and Trilobites offers fascinating insights into the complexities of life, the evolution of our planet, and our place within it. These enigmatic beings serve as a reminder of the endless possibilities that await us in the annals of Earth's history, and they inspire us to continue exploring, investigating, and learning. So, let us continue to unravel the mysteries of our planet and delve deeper into the enigmatic world of fossils. By doing so, we will not only expand our understanding of the past, but also gain a better understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. In the words of Carl Sagan, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Let us continue to seek out that incredible something, whether it be in the depths of the ocean, the farthest reaches of space, or the hidden recesses of our planet's past. By doing so, we will continue to expand our understanding of the universe and our place within it. So, stay tuned for more tales of Earth's enigmatic inhabitants. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories about dinosaurs, prehistory, and the mysteries of our planet. By doing so, you'll be joining a community of curious minds dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge and the appreciation of the extraordinary diversity of life that has graced our planet.